The longest time in the world is the hesitation between thought and action. It can actually be forever. You can hesitate for one second to get started on something, a workout, a project, a task, something that you know you should do. You can hesitate for one second. That one second of hesitation, all of a sudden it turns into five seconds, and then 10 seconds, and then 10 minutes. And then just like that, you drifted into the eternity zone. One second became an eternity because something that was gonna happen is now never gonna happen, ever. Why is that? Because you hesitated. So don't take that chance, instead take action. A body in motion tends to stay in motion. A body at rest tends to stay at rest. You've had enough damn rest. You've gotta to get to the point in your life where you decide, I have had it. I'm tired of being a loser. I got tired of losing. I got tired of coming up short. I got tired. I want to move to the nicest neighborhood. I want to fly first class. I want to go to Hawaii. I made a decision. Enough is enough. It's showtime. In order for you to go from one level to the next level, in order for any woman to transition, for any man to transition, the thing that they want must be greater than the thing they currently have. Humans do not transition to another level when they're comfortable with the level that they're on. You only go to another level when you say, enough is enough. I want you to live the life you were meant to live. You hear me? Not the life that was given to you. You deserve to see what your life would look like if you gave 120%. And what I need you to do is I need you to look at yourself in the mirror and say, come on, stop playing. I deserve to see what my life would look like if I gave 120%. That's lying mode and you gotta get to a place where you start executing. Making a freaking plan is the easy part. And you have to understand if you don't execute, on the plan, if you don't get up in the morning when you're feeling tired, scared, if you don't execute, you're not just cheating yourself, dude. You're cheating your family, you're cheating your employees, you're cheating your team, whatever you're a part of. It's bigger than you, man. And guess what? I had to get up even though it was hard and I had to take ownership of my life, take ownership of my time, take ownership of my day. And if those of you, you messed up, why? Because you don't understand, think, act, eat, rest. We're talking about a schedule. I realized that my strength is in my routine. Why? Because I'm not as strong as I thought I was. I'm not as intelligent as I thought I was. It's in my routine. It's what I do every day repeatedly. The DNA of your success is in your routine. You're not as deep as you think you are. You got a final routine. I'm getting up at three and stick with it. I'm getting up at five and stick with it. Yeah, out of 365 days, we'll have a bad day or two, but I'm trying to tell you the strength is in the routine. Find a routine and stick with it. No more dreaming. Dreaming is over. I need specifics. What are you doing on Monday? What are you doing on Tuesday? What are you doing on Wednesday? You need to be very specific. It's time to put your piece together of your puzzle. Nobody gave me this, I earned it. Life wasn't a crystal stair for me. Didn't nobody give me a network, I earned a network. I worked my way to the NBA, I worked my way to the NFL. Everybody say, E, how did you crack the code? I grinded my way through the code. That's how I cracked it. I got up every day at three. I don't care what the economy is doing. I don't care who the president is. Nobody helped me to get here. I had to get up. I had to go to class. I had to read. I had to study. I had to write. I understood that the dream is real, but the lifestyle is realer. It doesn't matter what everybody else is doing. Stay predictable. Stay consistent. And the reason why many of you are not getting it is because you're not consistent. You start and you stop. You get pumped up. You start strong and then somewhere in the middle you quit. You have a little success, but you don't experience exponential growth because you're not consistent. You gotta be persistent. You gotta be locked in. You can't scoreboard watch. So many of you scoreboard watching. Every time you do something, you're looking up to see the score. You stopping working to look at yourself. You not grinding, you glaring. You should be grinding and you looking at the score. The score is what it is. The score ain't about to change because you looked at it. Keep playing the game. Keep grinding, keep working. And that other stuff will take care of itself.
I'm challenging you to get from where you are. I'm challenging you to stop settling. I'm challenging you to stop accepting the life that was given to you. And I'm challenging you to give 120%. If you're going to do what you say you're going to do, be what you say you're going to be, you're going to have to lie me out. You a gazelle, you're going to come up short. You a gazelle, you're not always going to get what you want out of life. You a gazelle, you're going to have an average experience. You a student, I need you in lying mode. You a teacher, I need you in lying mode. You an entrepreneur, I need you in lying mode. You trying to lose weight? Lying mode. You can't do nothing significant in gazelle mode. Nothing. Nothing impressive happens in gazelle mode. Nothing happened in run mode, give up mode, quit mode, scared mode, fearful mode. Nothing happens. Everything happened in lying mode like I'm coming to get you. You concentrate on this opportunity. You don't worry about tomorrow. You concentrate on this opportunity with all your might, with all your soul, with all your heart. You focus on this and tomorrow will take care of itself.